What's going on guys? Kurt here with 5MinuteGuitar.com. Today's tutorial is going to be for Old Town Road by Lil Nas X featuring Billy Ray Cyrus. This one's super easy, so it's going to be really quick to learn. If you're completely new to guitar, start with my free intro to guitar course here. And if you want the easiest way to learn this song, check out our bonus package, which has slow playthroughs, loopable sections, downloadable video, and a whole bunch of other things to make it really easy. You can check that out by clicking the link in the description below. And now let's get started with the main guitar part. grab an E chord, and I'll start with the strumming pattern. It's going to sound like this. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, one, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four, and a... Then you're going to go on the chord progression of E, G, D, C playing each chord for two beats before switching. And you want to play this one kind of lazily and slow, kind of like you're sitting on a porch just strumming a banjo. So you can just play that for the entire song and be good here, but if you want to match it a little bit better, the rises and falls and the energy, we can change it up in a few spots. So what you can do in the verses is play just single beats instead of the strumming pattern. So... And then switch to our other strumming pattern for the chorus to make it a little bit more energetic. And then one other thing you can do to change it up in Billy Ray Cyrus's verse is go even slower strums, playing each chord for two beats before switching. So... Really slow, smooth, and calm. Those are just a few optional things you can do if you want, but if you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. If you learned something from this video, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below. I do read them, I don't always have time to reply, but I do see a lot of your guys' comments and I love reading them, and it really does make a difference. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next 5-Minute Guitar Lesson.